Do you do you know what we're here for? Equal parts. Oh my gosh. Illegal. That's being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this. seen people on television. <coughs> mm, needs more dog. It was the type of talking point memes were made for. The real town has a population of around 60,000. In recent years, though, over 15,000 Haitian immigrants have arrived. Many have found work there. Alongside that, though, there have also been problems associated with so many new arrivals. But... Are they eating people's pets? According to the town's mayor and the local police, no. We uh, have not been able to verify any credible reports or specific claims of pets being harmed, injured or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. This incident, though, was cited on social media as evidence. It is not. Why did you kill the cat? The woman arrested Why here for killing kill the cat. cat is not Haitian for one thing, and this took place in a different town in Ohio in August. There have been reports of people walking around the town holding dead ducks, mentioned here at a town hall meeting in August. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them like... The police again... Enough of this. Let's go on to another batch of nonsense to talk about, and that being specifically the fear-mongering about Haitian immigrants in uh, Springfield, Ohio. Start with the New York Post. Ah, the very responsible and diligent journalism outfit known as the New York Post has got it. They got the ball. They got the ball. Three days ago, they had the ball, they ran with it. Springfield, Ohio, man reported Haitian migrants snatching geese out of park. Clark County Communications. Oh, yes, ma'am. I got a question. This is a non-emergency line, correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Um, Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here. I'm riding on the trail. Before we... My orientation from... Before we go any further, I got <laughs> to bring this back. <laughs> Listen to this again. When you call in a meet, the first thing that you ask is, this is a non-emergency line, right? It's real sketchy. I'm not going to lie. I've never worked for, uh, like, what do you call it? Dispatch? Dispatcher? Um, but it's weird, right? Is, is it not weird? Because I'm pretty sure there is, like, a, like there's a crime related to reporting to emergency lines uh, false information. Right, but I'm not sure that that exists for non-emergency lines. Right, what's the point of a why I ask that question? Why is that your first question? If you're so concerned about these geese being taken out of this park, why is your first question? This is a non-emergency line, right? Clark County Communications. Oh um, yes, ma'am. I got a question. This is a non-emergency line, correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jesus I'm Christ. Here. I'm riding on the trail, going to my orientation for my job today. Uh huh. And I see a group of Haitian people. Oh, you there saw them. Four of them. You could just pick them out. They all had so this guy saw Haitian people. He didn't speak to them, right? He saw them. They were carrying Haitian flags, of course. That's how he knew, right? He didn't just see a group of black people and think, those are Haitians. Or, you know, do you get what I'm saying here? He saw a group of, that's like an incredibly racist statement when you start to unpack it. Right, this, you know, he assumed immediately that any black people he saw were Haitians. This is just a fucked up sort of thinking. This man there seems to be. Four of them. They all had geese in their hand. Oh God, no! They got away. Not the geese. I couldn't make out the first three of the license plates. Oh, plate, they got away. But I got the numbers. Clark County Communications. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. So yeah, that spastic sounding individual apparently called into a government agency to report geese being taken by Haitian people who he saw. He didn't speak to them, so they could have just been people. They could have just been American people. It doesn't sound like he actually knew for sure. Um <clears throat> Mm 
Now, let's go to another seemingly very reputable person. This is Fox News who had on, honestly, I don't know this woman's name, uh, but had on an Ohio, a Springfield, Ohio resident to speak about this supposed dystopian nightmare that has taken over her town. Plants and the citizens that depend on our social services, um, like health care, a rocking horse, uh, going down to the Social Security office for benefits, uh, are waiting in line and they're not getting the services they need. And um, it, it breaks my heart to, to see oh, people that I taught mm. and they're... <laughs> Anybody else notice the the footage that Fox is running in the background? It just is geese. They have geese in a pond, and then they have this random woman talking. I mean, this is this right here. This is journalism, people. I mean, my God. You know, I think we've had enough. I, I, we could go through this whole thing, but is that? Oh yeah, you believe her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good one some smart people in chat all right now let's go on to this this is in the wake of uh all of this fear mongering that's been going on here's two days ago kvue bomb threats reported at multiple buildings in springfield ohio a town in ohio that's been at the center of political claims this election season faced a bomb threat this morning Jesus springfield Christ. ohio city hall had to be evacuated after multiple city facilities <laughs> were threatened earlier today <laughs> officials say they were alerted to the threat by email the threat let's, uh, let's go here yes associated press from a day ago springfield ohio residents condemn rumors of immigrants eating pets we need to come together we cannot embrace violence. We will not embrace hatred. We are a city of love, a city of compassion. And what is happening in our city right now is absolutely unbelievable. I am calling on uh, Trump. I'm calling on J.D. Vance to retract their messages, to offer a, a, an apology to the city oh, yeah. of Springfield, Ohio. That'll be coming any we minute We are already now. on edge. But with the comments from our government, has made it worse. It is time to embrace each other. It is time to dis. Now I just wish she, I wish she could hear this right now because remember they're not our government right now. We don't have to vote them into office. Ohio can choose to vote Democrat if they like. They used to. Not that long ago they were voting Democrat. So do consider that. Uh, they're definitely not the government. Tell the rumors. No, they are not stealing from Walmart. No, the reason why the cabinets are locked are not because we have Haitians here. They've been locked for years. No, they are not eating cats. And as our government said, dogs. I hope that um, we will have more inclusive approach as it is the value of America, a land of the free where human rights should be respected where people should be treated with respect and dignity, no matter where you come from, regardless of your skin color, the language you speak, or whatever or religion that you practice. So I am optimistic that if we understand in humanity, we're going to have a more peaceful community in here. Understanding humanity. It does sound nice. I wonder if Americans are capable of achieving that. I've always had legs. Of course, that's ridiculous. What kind of question? Of course, I've always had legs. Who would ask such a question? How do you expect me to get around without legs up in space? I guess I could just float. Now that now that I'm thinking about it, I could just float. Have I though? Yeah. I've had enough of these questions. <clears throat> All right, let's go on here. Forbes breaking news. Ooh, breaking news. Wait. Breaking news from Forbes two days ago. New. Trump again claims Haitian migrants are taking pets off. Pe taking pets of residents in Springfield, Ohio. Oh, God. Oh, Forbes. Tell me it's not true. He's doubling down. 
are using this app. Think of it to bring thousands and thousands of people oh. here illegally over here we the past go. three and a half years. Harris Biden administration has resettled a half a million illegal immigrants from the failed state of Haiti, which is a totally failed, <laughs> failed country, very sad situation, into American <laughs> communities. And I don't think Donald Trump could name one fact about Haiti. It's just ridiculous. And of course, the United States did a coup two times. In fact, wait, wasn't there a coup during at the, at the end of Trump's administration? Didn't America do a second, another coup? Like a third, whatever. Like it's not the 2004 one that I'm talking about. Like it was like 2000. Was it 2020? I can't even remember now. But yeah, I mean, it's not as if America hasn't been vehemently helping Haiti to be dealing with some difficult situations. Including over 200,000 who Kamala has illegally flown into the United States by airplane. Think of that. And they're coming out of Haiti and they're coming out of other failed countries at levels that nobody has ever seen before. In addition to Aurora, Colorado, there's a place called Springfield, Ohio, that you've been reading about. Oh 20,000 illegal Haitian immigrants have Whoa, descended wait. upon the town Where is he of getting? He's always got to make up numbers. Destroying their entire... He's just making numbers up again. Higher way of life. This was a beautiful community, and now it's uh, horrible what's happened. Enrollment of the state's Medicaid and food assistance programs have soared. Motor vehicle accidents have skyrocketed. Recording of 911 calls even show residents are reporting that the <laughs> migrants are walking off with the town's geese. <laughs> you take- see that he's literally quoting the call. That we just played for you just a second ago. He's quote, he's just quoting it. He's like he, he is tuned in. He's subscribed clearly to the New York Post and Fox News, or at least listening, watching, reading, whatever. My reading seems like the last of the possibilities, but there he is, <laughs> literally saying the the Haitian migrants are just walking off with the geese. So. It's doubling down. This is not obviously as you can tell. This is not at the debate. This is a Trump. Trump rally of some kind. Make make housing affordable again. We're going to make the houses so affordable. It's going to be ridiculous, people. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got next? What do we have next? Oh, it's this. It's Donald Trump tripling down earlier. Uh, <laughs> was this yesterday? This is yesterday. This is Donald Trump tripling down. I believe this was in... So that last one we watched was in Arizona. This, I think, is in California. I could be wrong. Maybe Florida. I, honestly, hold on. It, Forbes will tell us. <clears throat> no, no, please. California, I was right. Yes. An event there to show the media what's actually happening, maybe a town hall. Well, we could, and maybe we'll do that. Where are you from? We could do that. That's good. That's very good. good. That's very good. You're doing a very good job. Yeah. Oh, that's very. Oh, you're all, you're all being very fair to me. Thank you. Must have been. I'm trying to think. Real America's voice, or I'm trying to think. Who's on Trump's good side at this point? Who's doing a good job in Trump's mind? I'm trying to think. A Chan. She representative of A Chan. Oh, you you're doing a fantastic job over there. No, I I will maybe Springfield, uh, maybe Aurora, maybe both. We'll go there. Uh, Me and Laura, this, we're gonna we go. We'll do large deportation. I think there's something going on between him and, and Laura. <laughs> the way he's talking, we have even seen together lately. I don't know. I got some thoughts. I think maybe the prenup's running out on Ivanka. He's got to he's got to sub somebody in. <clears throat> but um, not Ivanka, Melania. I just <laughs> not that. I mean, if if she wasn't my daughter, she wasn't my daughter. She would be exactly the sort of type I would go for. Patients from Springfield, Ohio. Large deportations. We're going to get these people out. We're bringing them back to Venezuela. 
You know, he told <laughs> Biden he's not a... We're going to send the Haitians back to Venezuela where they belong. Accepting anybody back. They moved all their criminals, not all of them, but the rest are moving in now. They emptied their jails in Venezuela, emptied their criminals, emptied the nests. They call them nests of bad people. They're all now in the United States, and they're now taking over cities. It's like an invasion from within. And we're going to have the largest deportation in the history of our country. And we're going to start with Springfield and Aurora. So, yeah, here's Donald Trump continuing to fearmonger about Haitians, particularly in Ohio. But I assume that Haitians everywhere <clears throat> are going to be dealing with the downstream effects of this sort of rhetoric from a presidential candidate. You would think. You would, you would think. Um, <clears throat> just just nonsense. <laughs> just just a bunch of fucking wild nonsense, he is saying. And it's really hard to even know where to start. Do you start with the racism? Do you start with the lies? Do you start... Where do you start? <laughs> like, it's, oh. Guy has completely lost his fucking mind. But, um, you know what? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay? So it's originally what I thought. But then, I saw this. This is... This is evidence of people killing and eating geese and cats. Here we go. They're killing all the geese. <laughs> Taking all the geese away. That's a big white one right there. That's Here it is. Here's the evidence. The Wait, are these Haitian migrants? Wait, no. Oh god, that's an American. Oh no, that's a that is a that is a white American. Killing swans. That's not even a geese. It's not even a goose. That's a beautiful swan. Oh my god. Horrifying. Horrifying. We need to protect the geese at all costs. I don't care what we have to do. We have to deport all of the Americans. They clearly have something against the geese. Oh, now we have to talk about the cats. Let's talk about the cats. There's no doubt watching it that I felt that the ABC oh, no. moderator Francesca Fiorentini, well-known American Francesca, person, are you eating, YouTube personality, you're eating a cat at the moment. Is this eating a, cats. Something you want to share oh, with a group? I, I mean, I heard it was a rumor in Springfield, but it's happening in Los Angeles too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just thought that was hilarious. Do you do you know what we're here for? Equal parts. Oh my gosh. Really? 